What's good, everybody? Welcome back to Tales of Berseria. I'm Joshua Jericho. And uh, this little cat here has invited us to Cat's Corner because we saved so many cats. I don't want to go, but everybody else in the party wants to. I'm just like Velvet. I don't want to go, but everybody else wants to, so let's do it. Wow, so this is Cat's Corner. I'd never have guessed a place like this existed. <laughs> an adorable little hamlet you can feel your motivation to get stuff done just floating away and look at all the cats That's... it's so peaceful here kind of makes me want to sit down for a big feast look over there is that the cat's pajamas i've heard stories That's... oh no velvet don't tell me you're are you allergic to cats that's why I didn't want to come here. Are you gonna be okay, Velvet? Of course, it's not. What? Oh my. I just have to let the music play for a second. Please. <sighs> These are those things in RPGs that I hate. Like, I don't. I don't love mini games at all, but I hate this kind of stuff. This is so out of place. It's so weird and silly and stupid. Cats can have different dialects depending on where they were raised. Meow. I'm from a small hamlet in the Nyagoya area. What's unique about your dialect? <laughs> Sorry, I have no idea what you just said. I said this fried shrimp is amazing. Cool, huh? Wow. So how do you say brother in your dialect? Mjör. Sister? Mjör. Mother? Mjör. They all sound the same to me. Can cats where you're from tell the difference? Of course. It's all about the nuance. I think it's a bit too much to wrap my head around. Oh yeah, what about father? Father is father. Huh? That one's normal. How insulting! No, that it is what you made, you know? I'm sorry. I forgive you. That's very kind of you. But the proper way to apologize in Nyagoya dialect is you don't blame for your forgiveness. Somebody shoot me. Shoot me now. I can't believe I'm doing this. Alright. Oh, yeah, the legendary high roller, Arma Dylan. Passed through here recently. I knew he'd been round, but I didn't think that he'd be that round. His career, his personality, his family life, they're all round, too. No wonder he's so popular. Sorry for complaining to someone who's kindly gathered so many cast groups. I have moisty on me. I want to stuff all of you guys back in boxes. I'm not even kidding. We won't forget what you've done for us. Meow. Meowchus gracias. That's how we say thanks around here. Thanks for grabbing all those cat spirits. Now we have a fun-filled town to play in. Just stay in this town and leave me alone in the real world. Okay, elixir is worth doing this for, I think. There's something about saying flows like a river that sounds so wise. Can you think of a good example? Let's see, if people are water and history the flow, and the world is a river, does that work? Oh yeah, that's very dignified. Can I use that one? Sure, go ahead. For thousands of years I asked, what am I? But something always is good to answer. Then before you know it, my mind was has drifted to what I'll be having for dinner. Alas, it seems the answer will evade me for quite some time to come. I mean, I get why this look, I get why this is in the game, and I know some people yeah. love this oh, stuff. Don't tell me I have the hiccups now. Oh poor Belly. <laughs> to me this is just so dumb. I'm thinking of growing cattails here. I wonder how tall they'll grow. Great, I love tall tails. Sorry, kid. Not the kind of tails you're thinking of. You'll have to look elsewhere for those. Oh my god, this music. Oh my god. I hope you guys can hear the pain I'm suffering right now doing this for you. Oh well, I'm sure there are some tails that are found around here somewhere. Yeah, tells of this and that are all over the place. Keep your ears open and you'll find some good ones. <sighs> I 
Look, an unidentified flying table. I just had to shout it out, you know? Oh, okay, cool. So you can, this is where you go to see your movies, which is fine. And I guess this is the old, yeah, this is this, where you can go to see skits. So that's kind of, I mean, look, I like... That is kind of funny. I like games like Kingdom Hearts, for example. And in Kingdom Hearts, this kind of thing totally fits in. It's great. I guess this fits into this game too. I'm not, I shouldn't say it doesn't fit in. It just... I've enjoyed... Part of what I've really enjoyed about Tales of Berseria has been that it has been serious and intense. And then this is just out there. Is that a big floating star? It's alright, Josh. It's okay. It's cute in its own way. Wow, another wild party with my favorite person in the world. There were sparks in the air and I still feel electrified. Ah, I can't get enough. The Cat's Pajamas is a special club for discerning adults who know the difference between romance and play. That's why you must be at least 2,000 years old to enter. Our apologies. Why does that sound like a duck? That sounded like a duck. I travel the world to reclaim hidden treasures, Meow. Doesn't that just make you a cat burglar? Big words coming from a pirate, Meow. You guys pilfer and pillage anything you can get your paws on. You prattle on about how romantic your life on the sea is, but you're just a bunch of ruffians. I... I'm sorry. Good. As long as you know where we stand, Meow. I've got my own ship, and wait till you hear what I named it. It'll make your whiskers spin. I call her Von Miotia of my youth. I don't get it. Fourth, the cat's exposition. Oh, but first we need to eat some snacks. Okay, I do hope they have some nice stuff in the shop. Please have some nice stuff in the shop. Ooh, adamantite paper. I don't have that. So it's all... Okay, this is... Now this is worth it. See, the minute you're like, here, have some things that will help you win the game, all of a sudden I'm totally into it again, right? Like, now I want it. Oh, I love cats. Look at these awesome items that I couldn't get in other places. This is fantastic. Thank you for all these things that I've, are going to really help me win. You're the best. Cats for life. Yay. Pre that, I'm just like, no. Get away from me, cats. Post that? I love you guys. You're so great. Yay. I love cats now. Rats, you found me. You must be something special if you saw through my tail in the sand art. It sounds like a lot of fun. I'd love to try it myself. There's going to be an Anything Goes division in the next Agarte Cup. Any race can participate. Just put on a pair of cat ears and you're in, Meow. Okay. My paws are ready. I'm going to flip the world of Paw Pad Wrestling onto its back. And then I'm going to rub its tummy.
I hope you're ready. Visitors in this place always end up coming to themselves. If that happens to you, you'll know what you've got real cats. I'm not humming. Is that everything here? I like this big empty spot right here. I guess it just comes down to the game, like, I don't know, I even like cute things in some games, but I just, from day one with these cats, I have not been a Cats fan, don't know why, sorry, I know some of you guys love them. I'm only doing this in cases like a cutscene or something for staying at the cat place, which there's not, so. Hey, there's still two more things over here someplace. Oh, those are the videos. I don't want to see that this way. Alright. So there's Cat's Land Corner, Cat's Corner, whatever. It would make my day if that's the last thing I have to do with cats. Which it pretty much should be. Alright. So I didn't hear any news about anything in this area. But, we'll explore a little bit. Maybe there is something going on. Ah, that's a jump. <gasps> Treasure. you guys I heard you put a real dent in the exorcist strength I take it you're a blood wing got any new information for us with all the turmoil there's a lot of noise out there but I've heard one rumor that stands out so there was this skilled exorcist praetor at the top of his game yeah apparently he got taken down by a pinyon oh and how this pinyon supposedly pull that off I know it sounds like I'm pulling your leg but I'm serious the Praetor said the Pinyon attacked with arts of earth, water, fire, and wind. The four elements. That's not all. From what I hear, this Pinyon sports red eyes and a golden coat. They call it Goldapin. All right. So where is this Goldapin? The attack happened in the Figal ice caps. But I gotta warn you guys, Goldapin is said to be an ominous creature that signals the end of the world. Listen, I'm telling you this for your own good. Whatever you do, you'd better steer clear. Why would you say that? Oh, now we have to check this out. So it's a penguin with red eyes, a gold coat, and control over all four elements? That must mean... They're calling her Goldapen, huh? I've seen a lot of things out there, but never anyone who has mastered all four elements. Excluding myself, of course. <laughs> Whatever she is. If she's taken down a Praetor, she might be willing to work with us. Or, you know, it could be a trap. This strengthens the case that she could be connected to the four Empyreans. Either way, we should probably go and find out. I'll send word to Jude and Isalt. Hold on. That might complicate the situation. We promised we'd let him know if we heard anything. I'm just staying true to our word. Fine. But I have my own way of doing things, too. Gold the pen, really? Okay. I think it's weird too that I have to come out here in order to find information about a penguin that's in the frozen ice north. This is a wild penguin chase. So I came out here to Velvet's old house because I remembered there was a cat box here, which I'll go get real quick. Or no, I won't go get real quick. I'll go get real slow, but kind of quick. Ta -da. Oh boy, Mormon suit stuff. Okay, so anyway, but you'll notice there's a uh, a thing here. So I'm gonna go do this thing and see what happens.
that it? Is that the whole thing? Velvet? Is everything okay? Don't worry. I'm alright. I was just thinking of something that Celica liked to do whenever we passed a gravestone. What was it? I have a secret to tell you, she'd say. Then she'd hand me a flower and add, take it to the grave. What does that even mean? That's just a bad pun. Exactly. Celica loved her puns. Nico's dogs are so cowardly that when a stranger comes by, they don't bark. They hide up on the woof. <laughs> hey, that's pretty good. Ugh, I feel like someone just broke my funny bone. I always told her to stop with all the bad jokes. I thought they were so lame. But now that she's gone, I miss them. Every day with Celica was bright, filled with joy. I realize that now. She'd be happy to hear that. You know, it sounds like Celica and Mogilu had a lot in common. Hmm. If you're trying to say I'm an unrepun itent punster, I'd have to object. But if you're trying to say that I'm witty, charming, and the party mood maker, I'll take it. Hey, Velvet, you can think of me as your new sister. I won't stop you. I'll even let you call me Big Sis. I'm this close to suing you for defamation of character. I knew I'd see you in court one day. Judge, objection! This is a witch hunt! <laughs> You're incorrigible. Anyway, we don't have time to get all misty-eyed. Let's go. Do they have court back then? I don't know why I said back then. This is an alternate world. Like, I don't... You know what? Just shut up, Josh. You've been grouchy and stupid this entire playthrough with your whole I hate cats thing and now you're being like do they have court you know what cheer up and shut up okay I'm sorry that's right you're sorry you yeah, know darn silly Josh I have to scold myself sometimes so I couldn't remember if I had gotten this cat box but it seems like I did. So, but there is another thing here. So I'm gonna see if I can figure out how to activate it. Maybe I gotta go to this side. Both the opening and the advent began here. This is where the me before I was born died. And it's where Lord Artorias sacrificed Velvet's brother. Hmm. The former leader of the exorcists and Melchior searched high and low for the resting place of Enominat, the nameless Empyrean. No wonder they never found it. Who'd have thought he'd be sealed away out here in the middle of nowhere? And these patterns. They're similar to those I've seen in foreign temples, built during the era of darkness. That's some good camouflage. I doubt Artorias realized the true purpose of this shrine until he witnessed Enominat's power firsthand. Maybe. Hey. Can we seal Inominat back in here? No, we can't. I can't detect even a trace of the original seal's art. Me neither. But I can tell you this is the Earth Pulse point. Well, well. If a cat's already out of the bag, it won't go back in. Believe me, I've tried. Even if there was a way to seal him here again, I wouldn't do it. I want to settle things with Inominat my way. Which is through checkers. Chunk, chunk, chunk. King me. I win a no <laughs> Well, that's actually, that's my way. That's how. Actually, I would choose Chinese checkers. I love Chinese checkers. Everybody's probably eating him, but I don't think you can eat a no but We'll find out. Okay, so there wasn't a whole ton of stuff to do in Talies, and I'll admit. But we do have a lead now on the other penguin, Mila. So, I think in the next episode, we might go after that. And I also believe that the next part of the elixir is up there. So, two for one on that one. All right, we'll catch it. We'll catch it. We'll catch the penguin and the elixir on the next episode. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you then. I really hate cats. Just, I don't like them. They make me miserable.